Hello, my name is Dr. Frederick B. Covington and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist. Welcome to another edition of ot to me Today we'll be discussing visual perceptual skills. Now, visual perceptual skills are the skills that a person uses to make sense of what he or she sees. Making sense of what you see is vital for school skills such as reading, writing, math, as well as for life skills such as reading signs and maps, finding objects in a busy space, and taking part in hobbies. Visual perceptual refers to the brain's ability to make sense of what the eyes see and processing that visual information. Now visual perception is often confused with visual acuity, but it's not the same. Visual acuity refers to how clearly a person sees, for example, 2020. Now, a person can have 2020 vision and still have problems with visual perceptual processing. Now, the aspects of visual perception we are going to discuss today is visual discrimination, form constancy, visual memory, visual closure, and visual figure ground. Now, Visual discrimination refers to the ability to differentiate between objects and forms. Visual discrimination helps a person to see subtle differences between objects or pictures and to see if something matches up or is different from another object. This visual perceptual skill can be described as paying attention to detail. An example would be being able to see differences between similar looking letters and words such as B's and D's, B's and P's, 5's and S's, won't and want, or car and cat. Having deficits in visual discrimination can affect daily life as well. There could be problems in dressing, for instance, matching shoes and socks. There could be difficulties correcting errors in schoolwork. There could be problems distinguishing similarities and differences in the formation of letters. And sometimes, in this case, you may see letter reversals. Next, we have visual form constancy. Now, visual form constancy is the ability to recognize objects, letters, or words regardless of their orientation. A simple example would be that you can recognize that a dog is a dog whether you see it in a photo, in your garden, or in the park, and whether it's sitting, lying down, or even running. Deficits in visual form constancy can cause difficulties in a number of areas. It would make reading difficult as a child might not recognize familiar letters when presented in different styles of print. So if the font, size, or the color is different, they may have difficulties. It can result in being slower to master the alphabet and numbers, and it can lead to difficulty recognizing errors in written work. Up next is visual memory. Visual memory is the ability to mentally store visual details of what has been seen. The ability to recall or remember the visual details of what you have seen is known as visual memory. For example, when you can recall the image of a sunset, the memory of a font type, or the remembrance of a tree's appearance, these are all instances of visual memory. Now, deficits in this area may cause difficulties when recognizing numbers and letters, remembering sight words, uh, one's reading comprehension, or being able to efficiently copy work from the board or a book in a good time. Then there's visual closure. Visual closure refers to the ability to look at an incomplete shape, object, or word and fill in the missing details in order to identify what it would be if it were complete. 
It's the ability to correctly perceive something even when it's partly hidden. This skill requires abstract problem solving. This ability helps you to quickly make sense of what you see, even if it's not all visible to you, which means you do not have to see every little detail in order to recognize something. Now an example would be, you're using visual closure skills when you can figure out what a road sign says, even if it's partially blocked by a tree. Or when you're playing Wheel of Fortune on TV. Also, when you can make sense of words on a smudged page, or when you can find a missing item when it is partly hidden. Now, poor visual closure skills can cause problems with a student's ability to write spelling words, uh, drive safely, problem solving, or identifying mistakes in written material. Lastly, there's figure ground. Now, figure ground perception is the ability to focus on one specific piece of information in a busy background. It refers to the ability to locate and identify shapes and objects embedded in a busy visual environment or the ability to pay attention to one activity without being distracted by all the other surrounding visual stimuli. Some examples of visual figure ground are finding your favorite socks in a messy drawer, or finding the ketchup bottle in the pantry, or for children, finding a specific toy in the toy box. Also, being able to find a drop item if it fell into a similar colored background, such as a green button falling on the grass. Deficits in visual figure ground can cause problems in various areas. You may have difficulty attending to a word on a printed page due to an inability to block out all the other words on the page around it. You may have difficulty sorting and organizing personal belongings. You may, appear, you may appear disorganized or careless in your work by others. You can overattend to details and miss the big picture or overlook detail and miss important information. So now you have a brief overview of visual perceptual skills and how they play into all of our everyday lives. I'd like to thank you for joining us. I'm Dr. Frederick B. Covington, Pediatric Occupational Therapist. And we'll be seeing you next time. Take care.